I never really considered myself a youth pastor, but that's where God has put me. And, you know, as I've been in this role now for a few years, God has really given me a heart to reach this next generation. There are so many complex issues that they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis with their families and their communities. Uh, just the extremely fast changing culture that they live in. Um, the relativity of truth. I have a bit of a commute to come in to where I minister at and um, you know each time I get ready and as I'm preparing to go I, I'm just thinking about man I want to find a way to to reach these kids where they're at to reach these teens where they're at I so desperately want to find a way to be able to connect with them to show them the truth you know in a world that that is changing like uh, like a storm in the ocean they need an anchor they need a rock that they can that they can turn to that they can rely on and that that rock is the word of god they need the hope that the word of god brings and man you know even the ones that are even the ones that have grown up in the church i just find that they even 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 those kids who who you would think should know better they still they struggle to really believe that the word of god is true and of course i mean if we're honest with ourselves we all struggle to actually live it out as though we believe it's true but man i look into their lives i look at i look at the things that they struggle with and my heart goes out to them they have so many issues going on in their lives and you know I, I pray my whole way in just thinking about the different the different teens that I minister to and, and just uh, the circumstances that are in their lives and I want to show them the hope the hope that they can have in Jesus Christ I was looking in Psalm 119 the other day. It was a lesson that we had dealing directly with uh, the truth of God's Word and, and how it can keep us from sin. And Man, sin so messes up our lives. We think that we can live our lives <laughs> on our own, that we, we think we can, we can, that we know better. And sometimes we think of God's word as maybe being oppressive or rules that, that box us in. But really, God, he, I mean, if we think about it, he really does know what's best for us. He wants what's best for us. And he's shown us the way to live in his word. All we need to do is follow what, he, what he's already laid out before us. So this whole segment is focusing on God's word and how important it is. So my hope and my desire, my prayer, is that every team that I minister to would, would come to see God's word as truth and to know that God does want what's best for them. None of us are going to be perfect, but I want them to at least see God's word as the truth, as the hope that they need for their lives that they can have a relationship with God, that he does love them, that they are special, and that there is hope for them. That's my hope. That's my prayer.